So with this bioenergetic shaking, um, you're just going to put yourself into good posture first and my hips are going to be right over my feet here and making sure that I'm not uh, collapsing or any doing anything weird like that. Also that my knees aren't all collapsed in but that those are, are nice and in alignment here coming straight over my toes instead of shaking like this way here, that kind of a plie. So I wanna make sure that I'm really doing this in good alignment. Also that I'm not doing it back here, okay? So this is gonna be taking the navel, putting it into the spine. And then this action here, just in a good natural alignment, that's all the shaking practice is is just this gentle bend in the knees um, simultaneous. It's the exact same, uh, same bend in the knees that we're gonna use in our shimmy, but just in opposition. When we get into this knee shimmy here, it's the same exact thing, but working simultaneously. And that shaking action is gonna come up the body depending on, on where I hold myself, on where I send the energy. Sometimes I really do send it into the hips here. Um, I get a nice organ massage as I do that. You can really feel everything shaking. Um, sometimes I'll send it up kind of into the chest here and get a little bit of movement into the spine. Sometimes um, if I lean forward just a hair here, I can get it into the shoulders. Um, I'm really, really careful about what I do with my neck. When I'm in this position here, this can put a lot of pressure on there. So really be careful, very, very gently um, experiment with how you do any of this kind of stuff. So this is an uncontrolled movement. Really make sure that you're keeping yourself in, in good alignment and listen to your body uh, very, very much as you're kind of working out what your body likes, what it doesn't, how vigorous it likes, how fast, what speed. It will tell you if you, if you really learn to listen to it this should not hurt at all maybe if you really get it going maybe you can you know kind of get the burn but yeah this should not hurt at a, like a single bit it should feel really good so um if uh, if you find that you really don't like it and and you don't like the way that it it feels for for any reason um just come into a normal shimmy when we do it into in in the actual practice just you know work work with different kinds of shimmies and and things like that sending it into different places I can send it up gently into the head, um, but like I said, I really want to be careful when I do that. Super, super gentle and super, super aligned. Um, really be careful about that kind of stuff. If I lift my hands, I can have my hands down, I can have my hands up. It either, either way with the palms here and I get a really different action here and it really is just letting my body go to gravity. And that is the point of the whole earth element is understanding how this little machine works according to biology and physics of this planet. So. Um, I'm, I'm really just relaxing into all this stuff. You can also do this practice um, with, with your arms in motion, getting, getting the shaking going as, as you're doing other arms. Um, I a lot of times do this with specific breathing exercises. So if you, if you have any of those that you really like, um, incorporating those with the rhythm of the shake is, is also a really nice rejuvenating, refreshing kind of thing to do. One other thing that I add to this is the mental component. Um, I do a lot of moving meditation when I do this shaking. For me, most of the time, what I'm envisioning is as I'm doing the shaking, I'm envisioning putting that energy, that all that life force energy into whichever part that I'm focused on shaking. So what I'm doing is I'm envisioning the alignment of my spine. My spine goes like this. It goes all sorts of weird ways. My hips do that. My neck goes like, well, let's see, yeah, it goes this way and then it's backwards. And, and there's stuff that gets twisted and indented. So what I'm constantly doing as I'm building up this energy and sending that vibration in through my body, I'm envisioning what I want my spine to look like what what kind of healing that I want to have happen. Some other times um, as I'm bringing the energy up, I'll envision what kind of connections that I want to make in the world, what kind of things that I want to send out or to receive. Um, I'm in, I, I do a lot of meditation with this practice.
and it changes for me from practice to practice. The length of time changes for me from practice to practice. Sometimes I really, really do work with a, a long extended period. I, I'm one of my teachers um, that, uh, that really refined this practice for me. Um, she, I, I guess, has done practices like six hours straight. Ooh. <laughs> so yeah, I think the longest that I have done is about an hour. Um, it's, it's, it's intense and finding a different place to take that from, finding um, kind of different muscle groups, finding a, a different weight distribution to be able to do these long extended periods and then really relaxing into the practice. Um, not, you know, oh my God, my muscles are so tight. Finding another place to take it from, finding, you know, muscles in the spine, finding them in the knees, finding it in the heels. Um, yeah, just changing up where where you're taking the energy from. And again, that is a huge part of the earth element is relaxing into these kinds of things and just really learning to find the natural movement and the natural alignment and learning to release all these places in us that get stuck. Um, you'll see actually in, uh, in this particular series of, of dances, you'll see places where my left arm is just working really naturally according to where I'm putting my body and this shoulder here just does not want to release. I have to consciously really make it make it go because there's there's all sorts of scar tissue um, just all sorts of messed up neurology in this shoulder in this neck and all the way down the arm I've got injuries uh, yeah from here to here <laughs> so I actually to there that that's constantly what I'm doing with this earth element with this whole shaking practice it's one of the many ways that I teach my body how to relax its guarding pain patterns um, it's holding injury patterns and uh, and my mental my mental stuck patterns my ruts and and things like that this practice is so wonderful for releasing all sorts of stuff that is stuck so i hope oops i always do that man <laughs> so not used to this microphone so i hope that uh, that you guys enjoy this practice as much as as i do and really sink your teeth into it and make it your own in your own personal way Let's get shaking. It's gentle bend in the knees and I can speed it up. And we will be speeding it up a lot in, in this particular one. But I probably am not going to be able to talk like that because, yeah, microphones hate this exercise. So, <laughs> okay. Um, I can send it. <sighs> Uh -huh. Um, so, like I said, I can send this energy no matter where, where I really need it. I can send it up into the head. A little oversharing over today. today. What else is new?